Hello. Today's devotional can be found in Judges chapter 7, verse 5. So he brought down the people into the water, and the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue as a dog lappeth, him shalt thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knees to drink. Okay, so sure this is working it is all right so we are brought under the knowledge of Christ who is the living water we are taught all that we can know of Christ and his atonement and his truths we are invited to partake of the atonement that we might be able to lift ourselves from our mortality and our natural man and become better. And everyone who approaches the water bravely and is brave enough to partake, even if they desire to partake and don't know how to approach the water, they set themselves apart from those who don't have the faith or the desire to partake of Christ and all that he has to offer. You see, we have our agency. We have the ability to choose whether or not we partake of Christ and all that he has to offer, all that he's given us. Because whether or not we want it, it's still there. But some lappeth the, the thought of Christ. They, they sample it, they do it slowly. They are tentative, they're scared, they don't know what to do, they don't know how to trust, but time will tell that Christ is nothing to be afraid of. We don't need to be afraid of Christ. Christ will nourish us and give us all that we need and more if we just take the chance on him. And those others take actual real sacrifices to come unto Christ and do all that they can to partake of what he has to offer. It doesn't matter. Everyone has their different way of approaching Christ or not approaching Christ. And I mean, everyone who approaches Christ is different. They learn at different speeds. They learn at different rates. And nobody is better than anybody else. And that needs to be understood. God doesn't play favorites. Everyone who is righteous and chooses to come unto God and ally themselves with the Lord is given a part to play. Even those who don't aren't, but those who don't ally themselves with God end up losing the blessings because they don't choose to take on the responsibility that is give, offered to them by God. I mean, everyone's got their role on this earth, but everyone's also got their free agency, so not everyone necessarily partakes of their role on this earth. They, oft, they sometimes do their own thing. And while they have their agency, they're cheating themselves out of blessings they would have had had they chosen to partake of the, what the Lord had to offer them. Christ is too good to ignore. Time is running very thin, the world is getting worse, we need some safety and some constant reassurance that we are not alone and that life doesn't always have to suck. Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ can give us that. We just have to have the faith. We are brought knowledge of how wonderful it is to be with them. And we shouldn't judge others for how they approach the knowledge or how they might be scared of the knowledge because everybody reacts to God and Christ in a different way. But we shouldn't attack people either because we shouldn't attack them for taking their time because going to God in Christ is a new experience. I mean, we're mortal, remember? Even though it was natural in the pre-mortal existence, it's not natural anymore. So, of course, people are going to be tentative. 
Because people are always tentative when they're trying new things. And to them it's new. To everyone it's new because we don't remember that we already learned it until we are further committed to Christ. So everybody takes their time and we shouldn't go after them for that. God and Christ love all of us equally. We are given different responsibilities, but we are all loved equally. And everyone will partake of Christ in their own way and in their own time, and he loves them all. He died for all. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.